I will speak about uh, the uh, modularization of uh, the Sage library. Uh, and so um, this is a project that has been ongoing for a little bit over uh, three years now. Uh, and um, I uh, made a, a sequence of a recent uh, posts on uh, Sage Develop on this project, basically giving updates. Uh, and so these posts are titled uh, the goals, the tools, the hooks, the rules, and the blocks. Uh, and um, so that's the five by five. Um, and um, so uh, yeah, let's 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 see if I can remember what I wrote there. Uh, so um, this um, uh, project is about uh, modularizing the Sage library. Uh, so um, Sage, of course, is uh, several things at once. Uh, it's uh, software distribution. It's a community. Uh, it's um, it's it's a Python library. Uh, and um, uh, what um, when I say uh, modularization project, it is about uh, the uh, about the Sage library. And uh, so the observation is uh, simply. Uh, the following, it's very hard to install uh, Sage and for any, uh, so for almost any uh, given purpose, uh, one has to install way too much uh, to make that, uh, uh, you know, to uh, achieve a given uh, purpose. Um, so, for example, I wanted to graph theory. Um, it seems excessive that I have to uh, install three uh, competing number theory libraries. Uh, uh, and um, so, uh, uh, and uh, at the same time, install uh, symbolic computation uh, software, um, all amounting uh, then to gigabytes of uh, 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 installation size that might take you know, an hour or so to uh, to build. In particular, it's um, in particular it's um, inconvenient whenever you are uh, not uh, just doing stuff on your computer, but maybe you want to use a, a cloud-based uh, development environment with other software packages. You just go uh, go to Colabs and you do pip install this or that. Uh, and uh, with Sage, um, you basically can't because uh, yeah, it's, it takes too long to install things to get things started. It's very frustrating. Uh, and so the goal is um, uh, to uh, uh, address uh, these points using um, basically doing a repackaging of Sage uh, in uh, in smaller pieces uh, that uh, are easier to install, uh, smaller. Uh, uh, and um, and so on and so forth. And in particular, um, uh, the, the idea is that uh, this modularization uh, will um, uh, change things around for um, potential or actual uh, or uh, past contributors uh, to uh, Sage uh, in uh, the following way. Um, and people decide uh, they are writing a, a package um, in uh, in a system. Uh, there's always a decision, you know, what 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 is that system? What does the system do uh, for me? And what am I doing for the system, right? And so, um, in the case of Sage, it's like, like this. Uh, traditionally, um, one would have said, uh, yeah. So if if I uh, integrate. Uh, my package, my implement my algorithms in Sage. Well, um, by the fact that it's integrated, I reach a community uh, of uh, Sage users who then have access to my things, uh, and uh, so that's that's a that's a nice um, goal to achieve. It creates a visibility for, uh, to my uh, software and and so on. But um, this mechanism somehow has uh, lost its power uh, because uh, Sage, uh, as a community, has not been able to keep up uh, with uh, the uh, fast growth of um, uh, scientific uh, computing uh, community in Python. 
and uh, say the sage community is uh, wildly uh, disconnected in various ways from uh, from this very vibrant uh, uh, developer and user community uh, in the scientific uh, Python world. So, for example, um, just one project, uh, SciPy. Um, um, it has uh, new developer uh, events every few weeks. Uh, so uh, it, it's a it's a vastly uh, 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 larger scale uh, setup uh, than uh, what uh, what Sage is able to do. There are multiple uh, huge conferences uh, each year, uh, uh, in, uh, multiple continents. Um, uh, of the scientific Python community. And um, so um, Sage simply hasn't uh, been able to uh, uh, profit from uh, this uh, 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 mainstream uh, status of uh, Python in the scientific world. Uh, and uh, so why is that? Um, well, there's a vicious cycle there, uh, right? Uh, so new contributor, um, uh, so, wants to uh, uh, do something in Python. Yeah, so maybe uh, Sage provides some uh, convenient facilities, uh, but then um, there is uh, some kind of lock-in happening. Yeah, so it's like my software, yeah, so I'm dedicating uh, my uh, um, efforts in developing this software um, is then constrained to um, only work in the Sage environment. Yeah, and therefore, uh, it's, uh, it is limited in the reach that it can have uh, to, uh, you know, the user and potential contributor uh, communities. Uh, so this may not be a problem in uh, in highly uh, technical uh, mathematical areas where uh, basically uh, there's no other system around anyway than what is in uh, Sage. Um, but um, in other areas, there's a lot of choice, and there might uh, it might be uh, that uh, uh, the the benefit of uh, using what is already implemented or convenient in Sage is uh, just um, not uh, large enough um, to uh, basically sacrifice a huge uh, you know fraction of the potential um, uh, audience uh, that my software package could reach. Okay, so um, that's uh, what modularization intends to uh, fix. So it's uh, here in what I have uh, written. Uh, I describe this uh, as a severe bug in the uh, Sage community. It's uh, so it's something that uh, um, uh, wasn't wrong in the beginning of uh, Sage because um, at that time um, uh, Python was just one of several competing uh, scripting languages. Uh, nobody uh, could foresee uh, the uh, extreme growth of uh, Python to the number one uh, programming language, uh, to the you know number one scientific computing language. Uh, and um, so uh, Sage was um, in size uh, and scope, very appropriate uh, and uh, uh, wonderful contributions have been done, so extending SH from a, a, like a playground for a number of theorists uh, to uh, something of a much broader uh, scope uh, and so on. Uh, the, uh, as I said earlier uh, today, uh, the uh, algebraic combinatorics people uh, have uh, done a lot of great um, things, so uh, bringing this uh, category system uh, to SAGE and implementing a lot of things that are relevant for uh, research mathematics in uh, fields other than number theory uh, and um, so uh, but uh, now we are at a point where uh, sage is uh, is it uh, is uh, a tiny force compared to a huge python force and so this um, isolated setup no longer uh, makes uh, makes sense and so uh, let's analyze uh, what's uh, what's happening and uh, what can be uh, fixed uh, how so um, and um, so that uh, takes uh, me to 
uh, part uh, two uh, of uh, the um, series. Uh, and uh, so I'll uh, explain a little bit uh, what, um, what tools are available and what uh, choices um, uh, um, we have made in the course of this project uh, to um, uh, uh, address uh, what's uh, wrong in uh, on the software side of uh, Sage, uh, that is um, kind of holding back uh, us as a, a community um, uh, in bringing Sage forward. So let's uh, take a look. So um, one thing is uh, yeah, so the monolithic uh, nature of Sage. Um, so. Um, but that monolithic uh, nature is something that is happening on multiple levels, and we do not need to change all of them. Also, one might think the problem is uh, that uh, you know the uh, the source tree is so large. Yeah? So the source tree contains everything. Yeah? So from sage.algebras to uh, sage.tensor. Uh, uh, there should be something with a uh, with a, a Z as well, but uh, what's starting with a Z? I'm not sure. Um, so everything is there, uh, and one might say, "Well, uh, look at um, modern uh, Python packaging. Uh, you know, uh, we uh, uh, everything is up on uh, pi pi dot org, and you know, we should just have um, you know, there's uh, uh, just under." Uh, half a million projects and so everything you know that sage is doing maybe it should be you know 800 different uh, projects uh, because after all we have something like 500 cython uh, files and about 1000 uh, uh, python files yeah maybe maybe these should be 800 uh, projects on pypi and then correspond 800 um, uh, separate github repositories 800 maintainers and so on uh, but um there is um, there is power in uh, uh, kind of having something central and uh, uh, monolithic, uh, and that is uh, discoverability, uh, uniformity, and so so that's something that is not wrong with uh, Sage. Uh, yeah, and so uh, in the modularization project, I uh, do not uh, propose uh, to um, uh, you know do away uh, with the monolithic source tree. Um, the source tree uh, looks good to me. Uh, so it is organized by um, rel relatively meaningful um, uh, mathematical and uh, technical um, sections. Uh, so uh, Sage namespace, uh, so Python namespace packages for various things. Um, and um, there's nothing really, uh, nothing really wrong with it. It's just um, uh, what um, uh, what is wrong with it is trying to force everyone to install all of it, to compile everything um, at the same time. So, and so looking at source, Sage, looks good to me. Okay, what else? We have a um, reference manual uh, that's about 10,000 pages or more or less, something like this, as that order of magnitude. And so again, one can ask, you know, uh, uh, would, um, would the user be served uh, better by, uh, you know, like 800 uh, projects that's, that each have uh, their, um, a little bit of documentation on uh, readthedocs.org. Uh, and uh, I would say probably not. Uh, there's probably a little value in modularizing uh, the uh, documentation. Um, so uh, what's a great thing about what's a great thing about uh, the Sage documentation? If there's a great thing, it's certainly it's the uh, integration um, of um, you know the various uh, parts and uh, levels of uh, depth uh, of uh, mathematics. Uh, uh, it's uh, somehow um, 
uh, realizes and illustrates a kind of the a generality of mathematical concepts. That's something defined uh, somewhere. Uh, for example, the idea of a, of a module or the idea of a, a ring uh, or of an algebra. This can apply to vastly different things in uh, different uh, technical uh, subject areas. But there's common structure. And uh, if everything is right in the Sage library, then it can, without friction, uh, be applied to many different things. And so this is something that is happening very concretely in the documentation by the examples. Yeah, I have low level concepts like, uh, you know, the, uh, the category of uh, modules. Uh, and uh, but it, in, the, in the in the tests, uh, this can refer to things that are defined on a much higher level for illustrative uh, purposes, but also for uh, testing purposes yeah, to, uh, in order to make sure that uh, you know this is not just something uh, true uh, in uh, you know mathematical abstraction and uh, you know in wishful thinking uh, in programming, but in actual uh, reality, uh, this needs to be tested. Yeah? And so it's very important that we have a, a mechanism um, uh, and we have it. Yeah, We have the central, uh, not modularized, monolithic uh, Sage doc tester that can that integrates everything that uh, runs tests on complicated objects um, mixed uh, with the tests uh, on uh, basic fundamental objects. But there's a conflict. There's a conflict uh, when it uh, comes to the uh, community of users and developers. So now consider a developer who, let's say, wants to contribute to graph theory and has uh, absolutely no use or interest in uh, other facilities of Sage Maybe they don't have the necessary mathematical training. Uh, maybe um, uh, the employer uh, doesn't um, allow the use uh, of finite fields. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, there might be technical uh, uh, or cultural uh, restrictions that keep uh, people from, you know, buying uh, the whole Sage package, right? Um, so people need to be able not only to use um, parts of the Sage library, but also transition from being merely a user to being someone who contributes little changes without imposing somehow the weight uh, and the complexity um, of the whole of Sage. So it cannot be that you know someone who wants to fix a little bug in uh, in a graph algorithm um, can do that only after installing uh, in that moment the entirety of Sage. Now, before they make do with you know five megabytes of installed uh, uh, you know graph implementations, but they want to uh, fix a little bug, and now they need to install five gigabytes uh, of Sage and uh, learn about uh, all of that complexity. Yeah, so it's important um, for uh, yeah, so for uh, basically fostering that kind of growth of uh, community uh, that the step of uh, going from a user of what we are providing to being a developer uh, is, uh, is a small step. Yeah, so if you have small goals, that uh, small steps are sufficient. And if you do not uh, uh, you know, uh, threaten people with the monolith uh, of uh, Sage uh, that will, you know, um, make people anxious and that, you know, creates um, uh, technical hurdles. Yeah, so compilation time again yeah, in the cloud environment, uh, uh, use of space on the computer and and just installation uh, troubles. Yeah, so uh, Sage is very complex. A uh, lot of things always go wrong and uh, you like to update things and uh, and so on. So uh, so we want both. We uh, want uh, small units that are separately testable because testing is an indispensable uh, part of a development. And uh, we want the integration testing. We still, we do not want to uh, do away and say, oh, 
uh, you know, if uh, you want to uh, test, if you want to test uh, the basic structure of uh, modules, no, you are not allowed to test uh, with stuff out of that unit anymore. Yeah, so uh, that would be um, would be very strange. Yeah? It would be you know moving away from uh, from the place where things are defined, where things are used to illustrate in part the you know mathematical generality and integration, and move it artificially away to another place. Yeah, where it's no longer that visible, just uh, just before uh, just for the benefit uh, of the uh, you know uh, of the uh, people who are uh, using uh, this new modularized aspect of things. Yeah, so for for the traditional Sage users, this would be a decrease in quality of the manual. Yeah, so that uh, no longer uh, the um, you know uh, the mathematical integration is visible in the uh, in uh, the documentation. And so we need a different mechanism, a mechanism that enables separate testing and integration testing at the same time. Okay. So um, we already had such a mechanism uh, to uh, enable and disable uh, certain tests for optional packages. So like uh, for optional packages, Say um, uh, we have a package for computing uh, with lattice points in polyhedra. Standard package uh, in Sage is a PPL, but uh, there are um, sophisticated uh, optional packages someone can install, like Normalis, excellent package for uh, and uh, uh, maintained package for uh, doing sophisticated things with polyhedra, lattice points in polyhedra, and so on. Uh, and um, well, when we are testing uh, polyhedral facilities, of course, uh, normalist dependent uh, tests are integrated in the documentation, uh, but they are made uh, optional uh, by uh, corresponding uh, documentation uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the tests. And so let's take a look at this. Let's look at the source code, source, sage, geometry, polyhedron. Ah, here we go. So uh, this uh, thing um, sets up uh, permutohedron. Uh, of four, so this is relatively high dimensional, I suppose. Uh, and uh, so um, someone wants to compute uh, with this uh, polyhedron uh, using the normalist backend. And so things are marked optional pinormalist. Yeah? So when you don't have uh, normalist pinormalist installed, uh, then uh, uh, this doc test will not be run, but others are run. And so in this way, we have integration. Um, uh, but uh, people are not forced to install uh, normalities. And now this principle um, is uh, being generalized uh, to um, things that we consider standard in Sage. So in a sense, the strategy is to make lots of things that are standard optional of sorts. And here, for example, we see an uh, annotation. Uh, that uh, looks like it's doing that. This one is marked uh, optional Sage Combinat. Hmm. That's new. And uh, it's so new that it's actually, it's not going to stay like this, uh, but uh, we um, just had a, um, had, had a vote in Sage Devel, uh, and uh, we are actually uh, now going to uh, distinguish um, the, optional optional from the standard optional and these things are now called needs many thanks for quang for um, uh, running the uh, poll uh, on this uh, it was very uh, helpful to uh, lead uh, the discussion of these topics to a, a good um, uh, uh, resolution and um, so so that's uh, what's uh, a big part of the of the strategy, yeah, recognizing uh, this um, uh, yeah, fundamental uh, conflict 
yeah, between uh, integration and separate testability, yeah, and uh, developing a mechanism that is um, uh, that uh, 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 a mechanism uh, that uh, uh, serves that. So let's uh, maybe take a look at um, let's take a look at a relevant a ticket. So this one here is where some of the new stuff is being introduced. It's uh, kind of big. These modularization, modularization tickets tend to be big. So it's 5,000 lines of changes, but uh, many of these changes are done uh, using uh, little helpers. And uh, one of them uh, is uh, developed in uh, this uh, in this PR, and so this will be advertised shortly. So let's take a look at what uh, these changes uh, look like. So let's uh, ignore maybe the changes uh, in the uh, documentation, and uh, let's rather look at what kind of changes are happening in the Python and uh, Cython files. So um, there are uh, changes that uh, look, yeah, okay, this is documentation, changes that look like this. So these annotations, they're just like optional uh, annotations, like optional tags, but for a feature or package that doesn't exist at all. So nobody can ever, um, you know, uh, run this, uh, this test. So there's now an, a new uh, uh, mechanism to avoid such repetitive tags not tested or repetitive optional tags. And that looks like this. You start with a, a Sage uh, prompt and uh, when there's no command, but only uh, that uh, comment uh, not tested, then uh, this applies to the following block. Uh, all the way to uh, the next new line to the next or to the end of uh, such a thing so like this and so this uh, uh, can uh, remove a little bit of the the weight uh, of uh, these uh, these tags that we already see when there's a lot of optional or not tested things happening so let's see if we find something that has more of this optional business um Geometry polyhedron, possibly. Yeah, all right. Um, not quite. Um, but you see uh, what's uh, happening here is um, uh, previously uh, I introduced a lot of these um, optional tags for things that are actually standard, which here is uh, the ability of Sage to use um, uh, non-trivial uh, number fields. So the rational numbers are always available. Uh, but, and in standard Sage, um, all number fields are available. But in a modularized uh, deployment of Sage, one may want to avoid um, pulling in all the uh, libraries that Sage uses to implement number fields, which as it turns out to be, are quite a number of uh, libraries. So, um, and um, so um, this uh, this tag here that I uh, put there uh, quite a while ago uh, in uh, preparing uh, uh, the modularization uh, of uh, Sage geometry. This is uh, now replaced using uh, the you know, new uh, uh, type of tag by just a single line. So there's less uh, visual weight to it. It's easier to uh, edit and maintain. So, um, so that, that happened here. And so here you see, uh, yeah, so this is now, now called needs. Um, for what's called optional, whereas the optional optional is still called optional. Okay, 
so uh, so th so there we go uh, and so this is what uh, th uh, these so this is how, how these you know 5000 lines of changes come together these are all um bulk changes to doc tests in service of um uh preparing doc tests for their dual role of um, local like modularized testing uh, and uh, integrated testing and uh, being part of the integrated documentation showing examples and so on so there are of course questions of now, despite these uh, simplifications uh, with these uh, block tags, there are questions of maintainability. Uh, so we have 200,000 uh, lines of uh, doc tests in Sage. So 200,000 uh, times that uh, the word Sage colon appears uh, in uh, our source files. Uh, and uh, so we might be interested in uh, uh, in uh, some uh, tools that help maintain uh, such things. So this tool uh, now exists. Uh, this uh, tool is called Sage Fix Doc Tests. This uh, actually existed before. If you uh, happen to know about it, uh, it was not advertised anywhere. It was kind of a secret weapon uh, for people who uh, have to update doc tests uh, a lot uh, and um, it's now uh, advertised and ha has widely uh, wildly uh, greater functionality uh, as of this uh, pr uh, so uh, uh, what sh fixed doc tests can do is it can maintain uh, these uh, types of uh, tags so let's try this out Let's uh, take a look at uh, at a at a possible uh, victim. So let's look at Sage Rings asymptotic uh, and uh, see uh, what's going on here. Someone doesn't like the symbolic ring I heard, uh, and uh, so um, so the, uh, I guess a, a question could be uh, in uh, the tests for Sage Rings asymptotic. Are there bits that uh, can run independently of the symbolic facility? So if I don't uh, have, uh, if I don't want to use the symbolic um, constants ring as the coefficient ring, but rather let's say um, the algebraic uh, numbers or the rational numbers, uh, can uh, this facility run separate? Yeah, so uh, let's uh, pretend that sage.symbolic.expression has been lost. Yeah, uh, and um, somehow we manage to still start up Sage. Can we can we test uh, you know the asymptotic ring? And what uh, you know which uh, doc tests um, in there are viable for modularized testing without? The symbolic subsystem because as we know there's a symbolic subsystem first of all we don't like it uh, and uh, second it, it depends on uh, rather unusual software right? uh, it, so we need a we need a lisp there we need an installation of maxima there's a, a symbolics uh, implementation uh, that we have pulled into sage called pinac uh, then there is uh, GIAC, uh, which is sometimes used for integration uh, and um, lots of stuff. So let's take a look. Uh, let's uh, spot uh, uses uh, of uh, the uh, symbolic ring. Ooh, there's one. Coefficient uh, ring is SR. Okay. So let's uh, maybe uh, use uh, for, uh, maybe look for uh, SR. And also S C R, which is the symbolic constant uh, ring. 
Okay, so this, this, this one is written here directly using sr.separating no variables, true. Okay, so these, uh, these doc tests here, um, they, would be, uh, they would be symbolic, right? So we would have to mark them. Uh, and um, so now uh, we have um, uh, the opportunity to do, do this. Uh, so I have here some secret uh, editor macros that allow me to uh, say optional. Yeah, well, let's change this to needs. Say it's not symbolic. Uh, and uh, then uh, I said it is a magic, yeah, so I can do this. Uh, so uh, that's how I program my Emacs. Um, uh, so uh, also these. Yeah, and so um, if I have a less powerful editor, I could have resorted to just uh, using a block tag. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is just stuff that happens in the editor. This one here looks promising. Yeah, so this doesn't use SR. So maybe, maybe, yeah, so this could be run, run without SR. Okay, let's take a quick uh, peek at the imports, the global imports here. Oh, okay, this looks... This looks nice. There's no uh, import from Sage Symbolic. There's also no import from Sage.functions. There's no import from Sage.calculus, which are kind of the places where we uh, suspect uh, the Symbolics to leak in. It's no longer uh, actually true. I have uh, some work on uh, making Sage.functions work. So the numerical part of Sage.functions work without the Symbolic ring. Uh, and, um, but yeah, uh, so it looks uh, clean on first uh, look. And so here, QQ stuff, CZ stuff, okay, looks all clean. So let's look for the next uh, uh, symbolic one. Okay, say symbolic. So now I, I could have uh, said something like this. Yeah, because I have a powerful editor, and so I can uh, edit these things in less one, uh, less than one second per line. Um, however, we might look at it, and someone might say, "Oh, uh, won't this now show up in the formatted documentation?" Uh, and uh, you know, they create a visual, uh, uh, you know, impact certainly. And so, uh, let's see if we can. Uh... Okay, as I made uh, these. Uh... I mean, maybe it's just graffiti, yeah. So uh, it uh, there were uh, on stage develop there were uh, some uh, voices that uh, seemed to uh, indicate that people were concerned about graffiti in the precious uh, code base, uh, and well, so maybe it's graffiti. Um, so, um, uh, but it's uh, useful graffiti. Um, uh, there's a need for uh, a cultural need for graffiti uh, in our code because of the fundamental conflict between integration and modularity. Okay, so but let's uh, reduce the visual load uh, of uh, these things. And so this is what uh, Sage minus fixed doc tests can now do for us. Uh, we uh, run it with the magic option uh, that is new uh, only uh, tags. So it's running the doc tester on the file. Okay, there we go. It um, says that the input file, my source file has been overwritten, a rather scary message. Um, uh, and uh, so what happened? Uh, we remember there was the uh, repeated block uh, of these uh, sharp needs. And this has been rewritten using a block tag. Okay, that's what the maintenance tool can do. Yeah, so it can um, recognize the, uh, uh, these situations when someone uh, went overboard with these uh, annotations, and it can rewrite things in this in this form. And it also uh, normalizes um, uh, things in some ways. Uh, so so let's uh, say someone used uh, not. Uh, so I can reload uh, this here. Uh, I have here the sharp needs. Uh, and uh, 
So perhaps someone had a, a, a lesser editor than Emacs and wrote it, wrote it in this way. Uh, then, uh, yeah, or maybe uh, uh, um, maybe wrote it like this. Uh, then I save it, and hopefully this time. So something happened here, uh, and uh, if I reload this file, uh, it uh, automatically aligns uh, the things somehow. Uh, and so there are particular tab stops uh, where it aligns uh, things. And so uh, if I don't like uh, that, uh, you know, uh, the mutual alignment is missing, I can actually manually uh, indent this one to the next tab stop and indent this one to the next tab stop uh, and the tool doesn't undo that. So if things are already aligned uh, at a, a tab stop further right, uh, then it doesn't uh, undo that because uh, it uh, thinks uh, that this was done deliberately to achieve some kind of particular alignment. Yeah, so it's a, uh, uh, it uh, allows you know human uh, a code uh, editors uh, to you know still uh, express themselves uh, in uh, but only in specific aligned ways yeah, so i think this is what they mean when they're talking about ai alignment yeah so it's all about the tab stops uh, okay so um so that's that's a little tool yeah so it uh, manages on a purely syntactic level now manages these uh, these annotations it does much more uh, but uh, that's uh, the first uh, convenience, it uh, can uh, revise uh, things, bring them to some kind of, uh, it's not quite a normal form, uh, but uh, to uh, to an uh, idempotent uh, form. Uh, uh, and um, so um, it, it can do part of the work for us. Right, yeah, so I can place uh, now the uh, need stage symbolic uh, tags, uh, and then hopefully, yeah, so if, um, Things work. I can uh, test them uh, when the symbolic and symbolics are not uh, present, but the asymptotic ring is okay. So now, uh, what about uh, those? Uh, what about uh, those modularized settings? How are they defined? And um, where are these names uh, like Sage geometry, polyhedron? Where, where are they defined? Uh, so let's take a look. Um, I will go for that to a different uh, ticket. Uh, that is a huge ticket. Uh, that has currently about 100,000 uh, lines of change. In it, it's called modularization of SageLib distributions, SageMath combinat, GLPK graphs, groups, modules, MPMS, plot, uh, polyhedra. Zoom window is in the place, in the wrong place. Uh, here we go. Schemes, symbolics. Okay, so that's yeah, so what we might uh, might say. Let's um, think about you know where might the asymptotic ring fit. Yeah? So maybe we are applying it to combinat, um, generating function techniques, or maybe combinat. Uh, so it might be uh, in in a it might be in a part, say here distribution, uh, sage math combinat. Right now it isn't. So let's take a look at what that what that is here. What are these distributions? So let's uh, take a look at the let's take a look at the uh, source tree. Uh, Two thousand four hundred seventy one files changed. Let's look at all of them uh, this evening, uh, and so it's currently one hundred twenty nine thousand uh, uh, changes. Uh, so uh, what's happening here is uh, you may have noticed uh, that. Uh, 
for a while now, uh, there is uh, not just build and SRC as a source uh, in the top level in the Sage root, but there's also a, a directory called uh, book, uh, packages. Uh, and uh, so what's in there? There's like Sage setup. Okay, this doesn't sound interesting. And then there are Sage uh, math objects uh, and Sage math categories. You sound more uh, interesting. And what this uh, 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 what this PR is doing here is it's adding many more. So let's take a look at what uh, they are. So maybe Sage math combinat here. Uh, and um, so it looks like. Uh, it looks like um, it might be some kind of uh, Python uh, package. So there's a setup py. There's a setup CFG with a funny ending. Uh, and there's a py project toml uh, that uh, those of us who are initiated to modern Python packaging will recognize. Uh, and there's a manifest. Uh, it's kind of a good old uh, setup tools, distutals uh, instrument. And so this looks just like a Python package uh, and it is. So uh, the technical name for this type of package is uh, distribution or distribution package. Uh, and um, indeed after running dot slash bootstrap, uh, these are just uh, the source trees of Python uh, distribution packages. So because my uh, browser just crashed, uh, I am going to show you this in my trusty Emacs. Uh, so um, there we have uh, packages. And so there are uh, all the packages that I have on, on this branch. So it's HMath Combinat. Uh, and so let's maybe look at the, at the readme. So it's telling us uh, what this is. This uh, does algebraic combinatorics and combinatorial representation theory. So clearly not uh, analytic combinatorics. Hmm? Uh, so, um, uh, but that uh, might be subject to change. And so it's uh, telling us a little bit what's in here with uh, references to the published documentation. Uh, so one has an idea uh, what can be found in here. And then it's saying available as extras. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, what this might mean. Um, and we find uh, this information in uh, the setup.cfg. So we have two versions of it, the version before bootstrap and the version after bootstrap. So setup cfg m4 is before bootstrap. And uh, so this has these little placeholders here uh, that the bootstrap fills out with some something actual. So what does it do? It defines the metadata of the package. This is the kind of stuff that will appear on uh, when pushed there uh, on the PyPI repository. Uh, that's a short description, a long description comes from the readme, uh, stuff like this. It depends at runtime. So when you do pip install of it, on GMPY2, provides long numbers, uh, size signals, uh, does some low level, uh, let's say exception handling, uh, memory allocator, something low level, uh, and on depends on something called Sage math categories, apparently. Uh, so let's uh, look at the version after bootstrap. This has replaced these things by things that look more like standard Python stuff. So it, these are version uh, specifiers for, uh, these are just package names, uh, distribution package names, uh, as uh, you, you would type when you do a pip install something uh, and their version constraints here. And it's asking for uh, something compatible. So SageMath categories, not in just uh, any version, but in something that's compatible with the current beta. Yeah, so that is, that is the current goal in modularization. Uh, it's uh, 
uh, right now not addressing um, how to manage uh, versioning hell. Yeah, it's less ambitious. It's uh, a saying, well, um, we are using uh, this central repository, the mono repository that contains the full monolithic uh, Sage source tree as it used to be. Uh, but if we are um, on top of that, we are defining uh, subset distributions. Um, and right now uh, we are putting no value uh, on compatibility between different versions. Also because things are very much in flux right now. Um, it's except when something goes uh, wrong a little bit, uh, completely invisible if you only look at the monolithic source tree. Yeah, so this project has been uh, going on for uh, three years, but only a couple of weeks ago, uh, people started to notice that something is happening because uh, all of these optional tags appeared and people uh, got scared. Uh, and um, so how is this achieved? Yeah, so this was uh, from the beginning, one of the goals, uh, one of the uh, you know design considerations, uh, don't change everything and particularly not at the same time. Yeah, so in particular, do not achieve the modularization by making a million moves uh, of files in the file system. Yeah, so uh, SRC is basically, uh, yeah, in particular, SRC Sage is uh, unchanged. You have the same uh, sorting by mathematical fields and technical uh, bits. And so this is has not changed and it's not going to change. So the magic is happening in the additional things that are in uh, packages. Okay, yeah, so you, I've showed you the metadata. Uh, and um, so let's look uh, at the next thing, it's the manifest. Uh, I'll only show you the version after, uh, after Bootstrap and it looks like this. So this uh, right now, uh, defines uh, what goes into the distribution Sage Math Combinat. It's telling me, no, I don't want Sage. Um, it's telling me, I want all of Sage algebras because to me, to the naive user of algebras, an algebra is a fancy uh, module uh, where the basis is somehow combinatorial. And uh, so there we go, goes into a Sage Math Combinat. Yeah, all of that is up to negotiation. Yeah, so I do not uh, claim to have the ultimate, uh, you know, insight into, you know, how mathematical fields uh, and so on uh, are defined. Uh, but uh, yes, Sage Math Combinat uh, to a large part and uh, Sage Algebras is to a large part uh, the product of the Sage Combinat project. Uh, and uh, so it makes sense to uh, put this all into the same thing. Um, so let's say, so we graphed now uh, the uh, Sage Combinat into it. Later we take out some parts again. Uh, Sage monoids, why are monoids in there? Because combinatorics on words. So combinatoric on words studies semi-groups, monoids, does combinatorics with them, and so monoids going in there. So the um, everything that have in, we have in Sage monoids is anyway uh, is, uh, related stuff. So goes in here. Uh, Sage games, well, uh, uh, our games are combinatorial stuff. So uh, it's not game theory, these are the combinatorial uh, games like uh, Sudoku. Sudoku is of course, it's just a application of SAT. Uh, and so that's why also uh, Sage SAT goes in there. And also why is it combinatorial? Uh, you have constraints between things, uh, combinatorial. Oh. Okay, Sage data structure stream goes in there. It's a, a thing that is used for generating functions. Generating functions, combinatorial. Lazy series. Well, okay, it's a ring. That's why it lives in uh, Sage rings. Um, 
so that's correct in terms of mathematical structure, but it's used in Combinat. It uses um, uh, stuff from Combinat, so it goes in Combinat, as it goes into the Sage Math Combinat distribution. What else have we got? Index free group, also used in combinatorics on words. Then there are some combinatoric specific libraries uh, that uh, uh, are used. Symmetrica is used for Tableau and uh, symmetric functions and stuff like this goes there. Uh, and so one needs to ask, why is this even possible? Yeah, so why can I pick a part of this part of this package, sage.lips, and ship it separately? And so that's the magic of uh, PEP420 implicit namespace packages, which is basically saying uh, underscore underscore in it is no longer needed if you uh, just want a package. To just uh, define a namespace, you do not need to write underscore underscore in it. You only need underscore underscore in it as a module if you need to initialize something at the time of loading uh, things. They still go through in it. Uh, and uh, when you have an in it, then there's the constraint, there's a technical constraint. It's not really enforced, uh, but um, uh, the technical constraint is that there can be only one. There can be only one uh, distribution package that provides the entirety of that package. Uh, so if I had sage uh, libs and then init, then that init file would be sh shipped by someone, by some pip installable package. Uh, but the rule would then be that this entire uh, package belongs to that distribution. No one else can contribute to it, no other distribution. But we have taken out all of these init files. They're no longer there. Um, so they were mass removed uh, not too long ago. And so most uh, packages in Sage are now actually uh, such implicit namespace packages, no more init file. And that's why this makes uh, sense uh, to actually ship parts of uh, the sage.libs package as part of different uh, distribution packages. Okay. We are uh, pruning away from what we grafted and exclude uh, several files. What's wrong with these files? Nothing, but these files are so basic combinatorics that they are of um, important use in things that don't really do algebraic combinatorics. And uh, therefore, uh, they are um, designated to be uh, shipped by a lower level um, distribution that is uh, called Sage Math Categories. OK, let's not worry about it right now. There are a bunch of things that are excluded here because they're shipped by something else. Then. There are also other things uh, that are pruned uh, or excluded. Now prune is for entire subdirectories, exclude is for file pattern. Posets are excluded. Why? Posets are graphs and not just um, by analogy, but by actual implementation. Yeah, so Sage posets are graphs. Yeah, so they import from sage.graphs and sage.graphs is going to be shipped by something else because uh, graphs are of much wider use than algebraic combinatorics. Yeah, so everyone needs graphs. And um, because of this import relation, yeah, it makes no sense uh, to, uh, to say, oh, um, you know, let's ship it in Combinat because it's in the namespace stage Combinat. Because that would force me, because uh, yeah, I have this. Uh, class hierarchy to also uh, install the distribution that provides the graphs. Yeah, so it will basically say, you know, uh, I have now a, a chain. Yeah, so I have now a chain of these packages 
Yeah, so if I want to install SageMath Combinat, I also, no, this way, yeah, if, if I install SageMath Combinat and I want to use uh, post sets, then I also have to install SageMath Graphs. Yeah. But uh, the design that I'm using here is trying to avoid such long chains and uh, deep dependencies, uh, but rather, and so this is something that works because of the way uh, how uh, modern Python packaging separates uh, separates the build phase from the installation and runtime phase. This is something that is technically uh, feasible. So uh, the design is um, I have different distributions that are just put next to each other. And in the installed, uh, so after they're installed with pip, they can make use of uh, each other. This does not have to be uh, declared necessarily uh, as a dependency. Some of these dependencies should be declared. For example, you cannot, you cannot even run any bit of Sage Combinat if you don't have the category system. Yeah, so uh, there is uh, the a dependency and it's declared somewhere. So let's, let's find it. It's declared in um, setup CFG. There it is, SageMath categories. Uh, and however, graphs is not declared like this, but it's declared as an extra. So if you know you want to do the kind of uh, algebraic combinatorics that deals with graphs somehow, you install SageMath Combinat with an extra. Extras use a uh, fortunate uh, notation that uh, appeals to the mathematicians. We just adjoin this feature. We just, we just do pip install SageMath Combinat adjoin graphs. Quote it because of the shell. And so in this way, um, extras, so these are these really just nicknames that you can define locally for a distribution package that tell, you know, if you use uh, this, uh, this nickname, then also install SageMath graph, graphs. That's really all. Yeah, so, and that's, that's the only uh, kind of um, thing that you can do actually uh, with uh, Python packages. So you cannot do stuff when uh, things are installed together. Yeah, so the installation step in modern Python packaging is completely static. It's just, it's dumping stuff into the file system. It's, it can never run any script. It cannot do a compilation at that time. This is all done at the build in the build phase, so building a wheel, and then we are dumping out, so unzipping that a wheel is just secretly a zip file. We are unzipping that zip file uh, into site packages, and then it's there. Uh, and so it's a limited mechanism, but it's good enough for us. Uh, and uh, so, for example, we might say we want to install SageMath Combinat, a join standard, and that's the same thing as. Uh, adjoining these library packages and the graphs. And uh, yeah, so if algebraic combinatorics means to you that you do uh, uh, modules and algebras of stuff, you need this one as well. So modules yeah, it refers to mathematical modules, uh, programming modules. Uh, and um, so this provides, in fact, uh, everything uh, that Let's take a look. SageMath modules here. This provides everything that uh, looks or feels like a vector space somehow. So modules, additive abelian groups, homology. Uh, let's take a look, manifest. Okay, yeah, modules, matrices, 
basics of algebras, a uh, little bit of combinat because for historical reason, Sage combinat free module lives in combinat. Yeah, but we now distribute it with a Sage math modules because it's a module. Yeah, and so kind of a guiding principle is that these distributions uh, are um, kind of structured according to the most basic recognizable mathematical structure that you might see. Yeah, so I have graphs, I have combinat, uh, which uh, kind of means, you know, uh, any kind of combinat that is not obviously graphs. Yeah. And modules, that means everything like modules, vector spaces, matrices, quadratic forms, why quadratic forms? Uh, because uh, they appear in uh, inner products uh, of uh, on vector spaces. Uh, matrix groups, why? Because uh, morphisms of vector spaces uh, can be described as matrix groups. Um, uh, and um, some little technical bits, not permutation groups, because permutation groups are kind of abstract groups, yeah? so they don't belong in the same uh, flavor. But there are some technical bits that we, we like, tensors, Metroids, uh, some algebras that are uh, related to the linear structure of uh, spaces. Homology is in. Function fields are in because, uh, because why? Because ring extensions are just uh, modules over base rings, I suppose. And because someone needs uh, yeah, what, what, what have we got here? Uh, derivations are module elements. Divisors are module elements. So that's why it's there. Yeah, so because it does module-like things, so linear stuff. Um, and um, what else? Have a bit of calculus in there. Yeah, because uh, of integration as a linear operator. And also, I didn't find a better place for it. Um, what have we got? Clifford algebras, yeah, because uh, algebras that have to do with the structure of space. Coding theory, obviously. Crypto also, because uh, a lot of uh, what's in there is lattice-based cryptography. Okay, um, stats and probability, <clears throat> because I didn't find a better place right now. Um, and something because it uses vector. Yeah, so. It's, it's there because it makes sense um, kind of from the bottom, yeah, from the kind of smallest technical things that go into implementing something. Like I need, I need sage vectors. Yeah. If something needs sage vectors, well, then it will have to depend on sage math modules. And why not put it together with the rest of sage mod modulated stuff? Because in this way, it fits. Yeah? And so in this way, we are building pretty large uh, distribution packages centered around a recognizable uh, mathematical concept, yeah? kind of linear flat stuff goes into modules, graphs and something that feels like graphs uh, that includes simplicial complexes. So abstract simplicial complexes, but not geometric simplicial complexes because geometric simplicial complexes are more like polyhedra and we have separate sage math polyhedra. And so we, we structure things in uh, this way to have uh, make sense both uh, in terms of the uh, technical bits, uh, what kind of libraries do you need? What kind of uh, basic uh, implementations do you need? But it also makes sense in terms of recognizability um, you know, the expert knows, you know, what kind of uh, structures appear in, you know, their field of study. That's what someone does combinatorics on graph-like things, knows uh, that they're dealing with graph-like things. So they will recognize they need to install sage math graphs. Uh, and uh, so, so that's the guiding principle, and that, uh, together with this idea that you know, just by putting these things next to each other, 
we can create a shallow uh, 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 post set of these distribution packages in terms of their uh, mandatory uh, dependencies. Yeah, so th these are the ones uh, declared as the installation uh, time uh, dependencies where installing one thing automatically installs all the dependencies. And then we have extras and they're allowed to be like more horizontal. Yeah, so uh, they can be mutual. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so uh, I have, uh, I can do both install uh, Sage math modules, adjoin graphs, but I can also uh, uh, take Sage math graphs and then adjoin modules. It turns out to be the same thing. It doesn't um, have to, but it turns out to be the same thing. Um, so, uh, but I can also do uh, Sage math graph adjoin polyhedra, uh, and that also pulls in yeah, polyhedra. What are they? Uh, yeah, so they they live uh, somewhere in a flat space. Yeah, so they clearly they need Sage math modules, uh, but they also polyhedra. Yeah, and so uh, I, uh, uh, if I want to do linear optimization, it's obviously happening over polyhedra. So linear optimization solvers are also provided by Sage math polyhedra. Uh, and so that's the guiding principle. Uh, and um, it's under development here on this ticket. Uh, PRs are welcome. This is where I stop. <laughs>